boys today. Back out here with Roman on 2 Jack Media. Leaving Venice Marina. We are in the bay boat, but we definitely do not have bay boat stuff. So, last couple days, there's been a lot of big tuna seen within 20 miles of Venice. It is slick calm. It's been slick calm for the past week. We're gonna go out there, throw some ballet here around, give it a shot. Might drop for a swordfish, might do some other stuff, but we're gonna be pulling around the Okuma Makaras and um, hoping for an early season big sickle fish. So, stay tuned. Yeah, boy. Let her rip. Let her rip. We're not even seven miles out. I think we're about four, four or five miles past South Pass. We already seen tuna blown up. So simple ballyhoo rig. All this is Sea Works, 100 pound Sea Works, 10 0 Sea Works, swordfish hook. You get the main gist. It's just a regular ballyhoo rig. About to let her rip, rip and roar. Yeah, one with the skirt, one naked. We're going to let her fly. There she goes. And like I said, we were really stopped short. Like I'm shocked that we were already seeing these fish in the uh, numbers that we are. But we're gonna troll around here for a little bit and then we're probably gonna plan on going further offshore, but I'm messing up my count right now. I need to get back to this. We'll see if something exciting happens. Does it feel like a black? Uh, feels like a big thing. Really? All right, let's get going. Tuna. Black. Oh, it's black. All right. There you go. Nice black. Skirt one, no skirt zero. Tunas are biting, baby. Nice work. Take it. We're gonna get a shot today. We're gonna get our shot. I think without a doubt. I am very, very certain. All right, we just picked up and ran a little bit. We, uh, about a mile and a half from us, we saw a couple thousand birds and a lot of fish coming out, big ones too. I truly, duly believe that Rome and I are gonna get our shot. Of course, now we're seeing them pop up right where we just came from. But, I mean, there is, they're doing it. They're, they're as we call in the industry, doing it right now. Let's see if we got bird and stuff working. It just looks, it looks really good. Yeah, we're on rocks. We got it. Come on, give me some gas. Give me some gas. Come on, go, 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 go. Come on. What time? Oh, tried to run. Yeah. Poor little guy. Yeah. Poor little guy. He ate the wrong rod. <laughs> Too little for that, Baba. Turbo. I was gonna say, don't tell me he's running. <laughs> yeah, it's a turbo. <laughs> Kerminio. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Get his ass. <laughs> Big one. Oh, Pork chop. Good. Yeah. Fork team. All right, let's do it again. But hold on, before we get on with the video, I wanna thank our sponsor today, AG1. Personally, 
I was thinking the same thing. I've taken a million different supplements, but this stuff's a little different. AG1 by Athletic Greens is a nutritional supplement that helps with immune support, energy, recovery, and focus. The all-in-one powder is perfect for fulfilling your nutritional needs as each serving contains 75 ingredients and components including vitamins, minerals, probiotics, and adaptogenins, which is something that's nice that I just learned in a fun word to say. Personally, I mean, you know I'm out in the Louisiana heat. I just uh, usually don't put the greatest things in my body while I'm down here. It is Louisiana, everything is fried. Since I've been taking this stuff, for, it's been about a month. I really have noticed a difference in the amount of energy that I have. It really has helped me get through these long, grueling, humid days in the most humid place on the planet. It just helps me get through it. And unlike all the pills, AG1 is really, really easy to consume and uh, it tastes really, really good. That's my favorite part about it. Instead of energy drinks now, I'm having this in the morning and it's getting my day started right. If you're ready to optimize your performance and support your immune system, click the first link in the description and you'll get a year's worth of vitamin D3, K2 and five travel packs for free with your first purchase. Thank you so much to AG1. This stuff is actually awesome. But anyways, guys, back to the video. Nice. All right. Action Blackson in the cut. All right. Little guy. Nice. Another black. Yeah. good for spooling these smaller makairas that's about all, all we do with it technically that's what i'm doing right now so save me a little bit of time <laughs> all right it's later in the day and uh Everything kind of slowed down. The water got dirtier. We stopped seeing stuff on the surface. And uh, we were actually going to make a swordfish uh, drop. And we just came by this rig, old 109 rig. The water looks beautiful and there's tuna busting around it. So we're going to make a couple passes. Got some sharks playing too, but there are uh, some yellowfin tuna here. So we're going to give it another shot. Try to get a yellow feller in the boat. Not big giant ones, but they're, they are like, you know, 60, 70 pound fish, which is way bigger than one would expect to catch a baby. Look at the sharks doing it over here. Yeah, we're gonna get it some more time. All right, so those tunas came up and uh, I think there was a grass line that, that had just passed while we were passing and the tunas were freaking out. 
So they were up for about maybe five minutes and then we didn't see one blow out again. But on the way to the Torker spot, so we are dropping down as we speak right now, hopefully to get a big giant broadbill on the bay boat. That'd be tight. Well, we drifted and dreamed for about an hour to no avail. There was no current. We pretty much had to pull the bait around, which gets super annoying sword fishing. So we put our time in, made a good drop, went over the spots that I was getting bites consistently at, uh, but had no luck. But luckily, a couple days from then, I knew that I had some people that were going to be down to swordfish in the bay boat. I did catch one a couple weeks ago with some friends, but I'm determined to get a killfish this time. All right, it's two days later. I get another shot at this. I got all, all the whole family of Makairas ready, including the 30, which has a marlin on the side instead of a uh, yellowfin tuna. But really quick, something cool yesterday happened and we got to relive a moment, a highlight of the channel and uh, of my fishing career. <laughs> oh my God, Bob. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. That's a hundred pounder. Hey, let's go. We got to get this thing in the boat. Get him in the boat. Get that thing in the boat! Oh my god, Drew! That's a hundred pounder. Yeah! 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 It's here. Big box. Wow. <laughs> yeah, she looks good. All right. Now, was this a real fish at one point? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We want us a tournament. Okay. We want a whole bunch of money. Oh, yeah. Here it is, baby. I had to open it up and check if it wasn't. Uh, Damage or anything, but I haven't gotten like the full view, full view yet. I just had to make sure there was anything obvious. So here's the full view 110 pound Wahoo, the reason we won that trophy, and a big check to go with it. Wow! That is incredible. <laughs> He's so big. He's so big. Look at my shoe compared to him. Oh my gosh. That is incredible. I think this is definitely, the Wahoos are like the prettiest mounts that Grace does, but wow, that's awesome. I'm really satisfied with that. What a beautiful job by Grace. And if you guys want um, mounts at a high discount, shoot me an email. I got a little deal going with Grace. They obviously do amazing work. Their, their, their stuff is by far the best. Their website, not that great. Check out their social media. Um, if you want to see what kind of work they really do, but oh my goodness, that is awesome. Okay, back to the video. All right, we made it out here making a first drop. Pretty cool deal right there. I don't have zoom on my phone, but that is sleep near. That's the largest crane on earth. Here's some other pictures of it. They recently just disassembled beer can. Um, the thing is gigantic, but we got. You've seen Derek before, say hello to the good people. Derek has had some really, really, really cool trips with us. The biggest swordfish that I personally ever caught was, was with him. And uh, he was about it, charging it in the bay boat today. I would, I don't know if I'd exactly call this beautiful slick haul motion charging it, but we're giving it a shot for sure. So we got the Okuma 80, Makaira. We have the Stan's fam rod and a hope and a dream. All right, about an hour in, we're tight. Got him on the troll. Good thing we got the tall guy with the long butt. <laughs> this would be very uncomfortable for anybody else. It's a pretty heavy fish. You know how that goes. It could be a good one. It could be a uh, small fish that is hooked all goofy, but we're gonna find out here shortly, for sure. Oh, there you oh, go. oh, it's finally waking up. Pulled a little bit of line. Yeah. Oh, 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 he's not happy. I have a feeling this is gonna get a little bit more difficult once we get that weight off. It's gonna get fun. Yeah, make it nice and interesting. Is oh, he right yeah. here? Caught him oh, look the at him. <laughs> All right, there you go. I wonder where the lead is. <laughs> we got him. He's a killfish. 
He's close. He's close. We're going to have to measure him. Yeah. Oh, he's an angry guy, too. Yeah, he's mad now. Oh, boy. Oh. Yeah, he's tangled up, wrapped around the tail. Yeah. You've been trying to slide him? Oh, yeah, he's a baby. He's going back. He's not even hooked. Oh, he just wrapped up in it. Yep. <laughs> right. Wow, he got us all messed up. That's crazy how, how he got wrapped. All right, little guy. All right, ready to revive him? Let's do it again after we get <laughs> I'll, I'll rid of this mess. Find where the weight was. Oh, there he is. Yeah. I was like, holy shit, he's coming. I think I'm swimming on time now. Just hanging out. <laughs> Bye, buddy. All right. Alrighty, gang. All right, brother. Nice to meet see you. Yeah, good to see you, Derek. Alrighty, gang. Swordfish Championship Series knife. Gosh dang it, there is. Lasting copyright music, so I have to make this fast. Flexi sport. So I'm trying to talk over the music, so I'm gonna. Okay, just we're gonna get this done quickly. All right. Butter. The only thing interesting about these black fins is they have a really weird lower cavity compared to a yellow fin. So a lot of people on smaller ones, like really, all you're gonna get is right there and there. For whatever reason, these blacks just don't yield nearly as much as a yellowfin would. That was actually a pretty good cut. This is a bigger blackfin, but you can kind of see this, this really is a bad example. That's actually a hell of a cut. Really what, what it comes down to is the size of this cavity is so much smaller on a black on a yellow fin. It really comes to about right here. For ones about this size, I always cut out the bottom on. So we'll see you guys in the kitchen. Alrighty, a couple days later, she's on the wall. Looks really, really good. Those dudes just absolutely crushed it. Boom! But <clears throat> we are eating some of that black fin tuna. I'm gonna have some ramen with it. Felt like it was appropriate. So we're gonna do some seared tuna and ramen. Sounds pretty good to me. All right, here we go. I'm just using seasoning salt, by the way. This piece is a little bit bigger, so uh, I'm gonna let it sit on there for a little bit longer. The ramen is uh, cooling down in the broth. Pretty sure this is gonna be really good. All right. Maybe a little bit overdone. No, it's perfect. Yeah. Nice. Did I burn myself? Well, perhaps. <laughs> but it's about to be a really good meal. All right, ramen check. Tuna, very unesthetically cut, check. But as you know me, I can't fake anything. Um, I came down here to work, actually, because look at this, folks. Yesterday, me and old world famous JB from Mississippi Fished on his boat and I caught my personal best swordfish. So that's going to be an awesome video. It's coming out soon. Came down here to back seal this so I can bring it home to some friends and family. Maybe I maybe bring some to Miss Jamie as well. So how about that? Big old giant. It's our steak. That's just a cube of swords. Yeah, I caught a big one. It was really, really awesome. Look forward to that. I've been looking forward to eat this. The seasoning salt ain't that bad. That's really good. Mm. Well, I'm going to enjoy this. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, 
There's some good stuff to come. I love giant swordfish, but I love you guys. See y'all next time.